Should I put hash? Shebang, in Python scripts, and what form should it take? Should I put the shebang in my Python scripts? In what form? Or Are these equally portable? Which form is used most? Note, the Tornado project uses the shebang. On the other hand the Django project doesn't. The shebang line in any script determines the script's ability to be executed like a standalone executable without typing Python beforehand in the terminal or when double-clicking it in a file manager, when configured properly. It isn't necessary but generally put there so when someone sees the file opened in an editor, they immediately know what they're looking at. However, which shebang line you use is important. Correct usage for, defaults to version 3. Latest, Python 3 scripts is. Correct usage for, defaults to version 2. Latest, Python 2 scripts is. The following should not be used, except for the rare case that you are writing code which is compatible with both Python 2. X and 3. X. The reason for these recommendations, given in PEP 394, is that Python can refer either to Python 2 or Python 3 on different systems. Also, do not use. Python may be installed at slash user slash bin slash python or slash bin slash python in plus cases, the above hash will fail. Hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash end python versus. It's really just a matter of taste. Adding the shebang means people can invoke the script directly if they want. Assuming it's marked as executable, omitting it just means Python has to be invoked manually. The end result of running the program isn't affected either way, it's just options of the means. Should I put the shebang in my Python scripts? Put a shebang into a Python script to indicate. This module can be run as a script, whether it can be run only on Python 2, Python 3 or is it Python 2 thirds compatible? On POSIX, it is necessary if you want to run the script directly without invoking Python executable explicitly. Are these equally portable? Which form is used most? If you write a shebang manually then always use hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash in Python, or hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash in Python 2, hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash in Python 3, see on that below, unless you have a specific reason not to use it. This form is understood even on Windows, Python Launcher. Note, installed scripts should use a specific Python executable for example, slash user slash bin slash python or slash home slash me slash dot virtual and slash project slash bin slash python. It is bad if some tool breaks if you activate a virtual env in your shell. Luckily, the correct shebang is created automatically in most cases by setup tools or your distribution package tools, on Windows, setup tools can generate wrapper.exe scripts automatically. In other words, if the script is in a source checkout then you will probably see hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash in python. If it is installed then the shebang is a path to a specific python executable such as. Note, you should not write the paths from the latter category manually. To choose whether you should use python, python 2, or python 3 in the shebang, see pep 394, the python command on Unix-like systems. Python should be used in the shebang line only for scripts that resource compatible with both Python 2 and 3. In preparation for an eventual change in the default version of Python, Python 2 only scripts should either be updated to be source compatible with Python 3 or else to use Python 2 in the shebang line. If you have more than one version of Python and the script needs to run under a specific version, the shebang can ensure the right one is used when the script is executed directly, for example. Note the script could still be run via a complete Python command line, or via import, in which case the shebang is ignored. But for scripts run directly, this is a decent reason to use the shebang. Hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash end Python is generally the better approach, but this helps with special cases.
Usually it would be better to establish a Python virtual environment, in which case the generic hash exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash end python would identify the correct instance of python for the virtual env. The purpose of shebang is for the script to recognize the interpreter type when you want to execute the script from the shell. Mostly, and not always, you execute scripts by supplying the interpreter externally. Example usage, python x.x script.py. This will work even if you don't have a shebang declarator. Why first one is more portable is because, slash user slash bin slash end contains your path declaration which accounts for all the destinations where your system executables reside. Note, Tornado doesn't strictly use shebangs, and Django strictly doesn't. It varies with how you are executing your application's main function. Also, it doesn't vary with Python. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.